whenever you have the opportunity, yeah, and and this is timeless. We would always refer to this when our kids are much older. A lot of us would send them to go watch these videos because people are lazy to read these days. It, it's, it's not that interesting to read, to pick up a book and read or go on the internet. So when people come across these types of videos, they can educate themselves. So I appreciate it and I just call to encourage you to keep on doing it. Thank you, sir. Thank you my brother. <laughs> yes, sir. So again, like uh, the African Wahala said, right? Uh, content like this is for uh, It's meant to actually get a lot of people say, okay, I, I can sit down and I can pay this and this. Is, please open that. See, right? And in most cases, if you actually really special, right? If you are listening with other people, it's a different one where people are reacting to it. So, so I'm so sorry. I don't know what uh, is somehow, uh, you know, not really working with this audio. It is not really coming out the way it should. Maybe it's just me trying to think. Let's hear from the uh, Country Emperor, you there? Ah, uh, Sapa Malipo, my brother. Malipo, Sapa, brother. How are you today? Oh, I'm feeling good, feeling great. Good weekend, productive weekend. You can hear me better, or if it is just uh, me that is struggling with. Uh, um, I can um, I can hear you very clearly, but there's some sort of a background music on your end. All right, I can hear. But I put that on because yeah. we were having, uh, you know, when we we're when I was reading. I'm going to take it off now. What about it? So it was meant to give uh, this background kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sort of yeah but the yeah. audio is kind of better out there do right yeah yeah the audio is better now right. um Let's stick to that go on yeah Mark. yeah um um so this content is um very interesting um i agree with what um uh, african uh the african wall uh, my brother said um so i, I just called because the first caller mr olu um uh, he said um, the black Americans got their freedom in stages. <laughs> uh, that is actually very interesting because Nigerians have been conquered in stages as well. <laughs> you see, that's the irony. <laughs> that's the irony. And let me tell you how Nigerians have been conquered in stages. It started with Usman Dan for idiot, number one. Then Lord Lugard, number two. Then Christianity, number three. Then Islam, number four. Politics, number five. And uh, try and uh, what else? Tribal bigotry and financial economic hardship, the final stage. Because people in poverty. People who are worried about, I am a Christian, I am a Muslim. People worried, people that are worried about being Euro, I am a Yoruba man, I am an Igbo man. They can never be progressive, my Yoko. The reasons why the Black Americans have been progressive is because they were not worried about if they were Christians or Muslims. They were not worried about tribal bigotry. They realized that they had one enemy. And that was the slave masters. But don't get it twisted, Maegu. There were some house niggers. The house niggers wanted to keep the field niggers in slaves. You know, you know, you, you know what they say when they talk about being a house nigger. The people that worked for the slave masters. The, the exactly. The but if exactly, despite the fact that the black Americans had saboteurs among their midst. They gained freedom because they realized, most of them realized that the slave masters were their enemies. But Nigerians have several slave masters. So how can Nigerians be progressive, Mayugu? Religion is their slave master. Their politicians is their slave master. Their tribe is their slave master. Their family is their slave master. So how can Nigerians realize that 
Exactly. Nigerians are serving too many masters, so how can they gain freedom? Now, um, I think African Wala said something that, that I want to correct. He said that the Black Americans don't want to associate with Africa because they're on the losing side. The question is, why should Black Americans associate with Africa? All they've known is, is America. That's all they've ever known. When, when the initial slaves came to America, their names was taken away from them. Your name is Toby. No, my name is, I've forgotten the name. What's the name of that movie? I think people need to go and watch that movie. I've forgotten the name. It's a classic slave movie. God, it skipped my mind. That could, that can't, that can't. Yes, yes. That's one famous one. A lot of slaves had their names and their language beaten away from them. And they kept on giving birth, giving birth. Their generations, their offspring, all they've known is, is America. That is why they fought for their equality, Marigu. So African Wala is wrong for him saying that they don't want to associate with, with, with Africa. No. There was never a reason for them to associate with Africa. All they've known is America, and they fought for it. So the Nigerians that are even on their own land, they are slaves in their own land, serving different slave masters. Nigerians can't be free. They can only be free by blood, my ego. Do you know why? Because the Black Americans were ready to shed blood for their freedom. The question is, are the zombies in Nigeria ready to share their blood for their freedom? No, they are not. But they are ready to share their blood for their Jews, for their imams, and for their politicians. My go, last, last, they go chop themselves, bro. That is all I have to say today. Thank you, Thank you for Thank your you. time. And again, this content that you're doing, this trust me, you've gotten me very interested in this book. I'm going to look for this book sure. and read it myself sure. because the, the, the first part that you have read is like, damn, I didn't know this. As in the British Empire, as they were conquering Nigeria, they were just conquering other places in succession. Like these guys were moving yeah, big. Point, like it's crazy. Half of this old bro, Britain alone was controlling the half. Bro. America had to it, fight like, with them now, you don't know. Yeah, I know that. But it's, no, no. Them, shoot themselves, fire, defeated see, them within see, days. See, see, um, see, 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 my go, see, my go, the thing is that... Independence, America. See, 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 the thing is that I understand that the British Empire conquered a lot of places. It is how they were moving, the dates, the timeline is just surprising how these guys we're really thirsty and greedy for power. It's man, this this man, these white people alone. What year we're going? Oh, see, our 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 ancestors no stand any chance. We will not lie to ourselves. Okay, you go. I swear, they, they don't stand any chance. They don't stand. That time, not time. That time eh, they say Britain, eh, Britain was like hot, 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 hot cake. Okay, you get. Ah, they serious hot cake. Thugs. If you go anywhere, go to record book, claim the place for them. Or my room, room, they learn lesson. So our uh -huh. ancestors no really really stand chance. Omo um, Egba uh, negotiated the uh, independence. We really look at the collected and back. How come nobody told us that one? That that Omo 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 that one was another interesting situation. We <laughs> say look at collect collect independence back. You want to know? I'm going to get this book and read it. You know no say there was actually a country called Egba United Kingdom. <laughs> but today now we Egba people. They, 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 they forgot about the independence of Yoruba. She said, you are once an independent nation <laughs> that they had to fight war, Baba. Eh? Look at the independence of the war. Baba wants to see war. Oh, the 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 war. Oh, Oh, the war. 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 Uh, ah, Omo, thank you. Omo, my good. Have a good day, Jerry. I'll see you in the evening. So that's one thing about uh, history. So it will humble you. Uh, you got to learn and unlearn.
and it also helps you to further research too. Like, you know, is that true? I'm going to go find out. And you read more, you know? It does happen. Hello? Uh, uh, no. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now, my ego. Oh, great. Uh, How are you? Yeah. Doing? Yeah. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. Uh, like my brother said, uh, any day we are ready to die for our freedom, that that day we are going to be regretted. But let me try to, my humble opinion, based on what my brother said, uh, the problem of Africa, if you want to be free, the freedom of Africa need is total freedom. Like I said before, when I called you like last week, Total freedom in the extent of both religion and colonization. Because you cannot talk about me and you that uh, amalgamated together in 1914. Then we want to separate, we want to go our separate ways as we used to be before the Lord Dugard came, which is a uh, British, uh, whatever. Now, we need to as well, because this is the same Britain that brought that religion to us, bring uh, Christian to the bring Christianity to the East, then mix it in the West, Christian and the Muslim, then come to the North to bring Muslim. So we can be able to be able, they know this fight must be among God. That's why they, they bring different religions between us. And nobody wanting, because before Africa can be able, because I'm doing, I'm talking about Nigeria, I'm talking about Africa as well. Before Africa can be able to move forward, we need to go back the way we used to be before these people, so-called white people, come. We do things our own. And they, before the British come, I know, I believe in a history, if you trace it, that Igbos used to do business in the North and do business in the West as well, go back to their East and do their, yeah, do their own thing. They still do that trading before British came that brought us together, people with a different ideology and different culture. So you're not going to work. That religion is part of the problem. You know, that religion is one of the problems. If you talk it, the, leader, the religious leader don't want you to know because they have seen it as a business opportunity to make you the same people that government are frustrated. That is the thing that upsetting me. The, the government are frustrating the citizen. The so-called religious leader, both Muslims, because when you talk about religious leader, people will talk, you're talking about Christianity. No, we're talking about even the Muslim because even the Muslim, both of them are was if you, you read the history, you know, you know, sometimes uh, the Muslim people don't need, don't want to talk about what Arab do to the Africa. Yes, because even the what the because now America is better in the West. That is, they have uh, African America, but they don't have African Arab because they kill our people, they destroy our people. But to, our people don't want to be when you're talking about the West. They're happy when you talk about Christian. But they don't want to hear when you talk about Muslim. The Northerners are not Muslim. They became Muslim today because they are forced to do. That's the way they live their life and do their own thing in their own, the way their forefathers used to live their life. So the better we realize all those things and the, uh, all those bloggers, whatever they call themselves, that fighting for irrelevant things on social media. But the same person that fighting for a baby, he monetizes his Facebook. He has the privilege to be on social media, monetize the social media, get him money. You don't want to look after the basic things normal human being need and to live. Like, That's why one of our brothers. Give his money and then. Uh, yes. You know? Maybe. maybe uh, yeah. uh, That's what one of our brothers say. We oh. are here, right? Dealing with real life issue. My platform is also monetized, no doubt, okay? No, like no, no, said, no, 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 no. No, I mean, I'm only I understand you. something that, uh, you know, this is yes. supposed to be a thankless job anyway. Like, it's a thankless thing. Yes, if yeah. If you have to be honest. Yeah. Yo, Everybody doing this, yeah, yeah. getting to be praised or something, then you are doing wrong thing. You are not in the right place. I get yeah, you. My you my I get your yeah, you, you monetize. I, you mon I know you monetize your your, your Facebook. Yeah, but you monetizing your Facebook, but you're educating our people. Tell them this is the way people need to live life. As you are, as you are detecting for good, uh, as yeah, as you are detecting for the good things down there in Yoruba nation, likewise Biafra, and the we that are listening to you, we are not listening to you because yeah, you are just talking on social media. We are listening to you because you are giving us the light message to make so we can be able to rethink. I never see you for one day trying. I never see you on social media trying to.
follow them and to, to try to drive people on irrelevant things. But, but you try to tell the citizens, guys, this is the best way to live. As you do in Britain, as you do in Scotland now, you are well comfortable. But you still remember as an African man, because an individual African man, no, he still have that polygamy. You have family there in your good state, need to be taken care of. So if I know you cannot do that, yeah, you cannot do that work by your own, even if you're making bureaus, no. The, the, it is the responsibility of the and government the to give your people. Them, yeah. the entire place yes. Is safe. You get that? Yes. It is, us it is the responsibility. To see and raise awareness. You are so right, Baba. Continue. Yes. Yes. And it is the responsibility of the government to give your poor woman or your poor sister, your the poor man in the Ogun state, to make him have a good basic amenities like hospital, good road, good, good. Uh, electricity, water supply. Okay, let me just uh, uh, conclude on this matter now. After Jaconde tried to build houses in Lagos State, uh, he built many houses under four years. Since that Jaconde do that, after that Jaconde, I think 1979 to 85, 85, 84. Yes. Now, nobody, no government, even Southeast or Southwest, have able, have able to try since 1999. Nigeria government never tried to build their house for a common people. They never tried. Yes. Now I know the, during the time of our uh, regional government, I know some people that do. I know some of my uncles that do civil servant. They can be able to build four rooms and parlor because when they are civil servant, they have quarters. Government will be if you post you to work in a good state, or maybe from east to work in Ogusi, you have quarters where you live. They can be able to save money from your work. But now government is not, they are not even looking after you. And they are trying to tell our people, let us stand up and fight these people. Don't think because you have a privilege to get money from social media. You don't, even if you get that million on social media and there is insecurity, you will still suffer. But the person who did not have money, it will be even better that because the the kidnapper will not look for a person who don't have money. They will look. They will looking for the person who have money. So he, he cannot have life to enjoy that money you make on social media as well. That's why we are crying out. As, as I say now, if I come down to Nigeria, if I come down to Nigeria and I can be, I cannot be able to travel to my village because of insecurity. So what will happen is. So what is the enjoy? So people will just be like, uh, eh? I, why? Why did you have to put yourself through that? You want to pretend that you don't know what is going on. So people have to be careful so my, with all your money, with all your everything. Even with security, you still have to be very careful. Or when you are not in Nigeria, you can live your life almost like carefree. Eh? This will not be your own country or you do so, okay there. Or when you go to your own place, you have to be careful. How, how can people live like that? I, mean, I know I know. Nigeria is about to, whether we like it or not, it's about to collapse. And uh, people need to stand up because Anybody that's talking about one Nigeria, the person is deceiving his We cannot work. Me and the, let me just be honest. I know we are all humans, but me and the Osa man don't have the same ideology. Me and the Yoruba man, wrong, the Yoruba man has. You see what I tell people, right? Is this if I, if you say to me and say, See, my brother, me and the Yorubas, right? We don't have a, anything in common. So we want to be like that. There's nothing wrong in that. People shouldn't see that as a wrong thing. All right. No, having a lot in common simply means, right? It means, simply means, the, I respect you. I respect you, okay? Yes. I just want to be on my own. And, the, and anything we can do together, and let's we, do that together on a mutual arrangement. What is wrong with that? Yes. Under, okay. under, okay, is it not, is it not Niger? Okay, that's what they say. Yeah. They are no longer interested in West in Africa. The ECOWAS. Yeah, they are no longer interested in ECOWAS. So, does not make the, they see, me right and now. you can have, Yes, me and you now, maybe Odudua and Biafra can have that uh, economic value that say we can do this thing as a different nation. It is called mutual to understand it. bilateral eh? agreement. If we say, okay, uh, so, the Igbos and the Yorubas or the Biafrans and the Oduduans, like you said, right, they are independent, autonomous uh, countries of their own, okay? Anything we want to do together so, will be called bilateral agreement. It's called based on an agreement, mutual agreement, okay? Something out of respect. All these ones that all of us don't even know. No, my, my brother, I know that I need to. I know it's not easy for you, but we are learning. For, you know, this period now, if I didn't see you online, I can I say, ah, what is going on? Because I, I love to hear your message on daily basis. 
because I'm still I'm learning I things. I a message now that uh, why we struck has been delivered to the reception downstairs. I'm going to take a break and go yeah. grab it before I round up at uh, this okay. okay, but thank you very much. Uh, I mean, look, they, don't want, they don't want us to talk about that uh, that civil war because they put it under no, propaganda. Talking about it until until mm -hmm. but, Nigeria will accept, apologize, and build a very massive epithet somehow that will show that. This will never happen again. And the healing can actually start from there before we finally break up. You don't know that the healing can start from sure, sure, sure. when Nigeria takes responsibility for what they did. All right. And they mount a monument that represents that dark era, dark time in the history of Nigeria. And make sure that say this will never happen again. Then we can now start discussing whether we still want to be together or not. But they don't want to take responsibility, whether dead or alive. We will never uh, stop talking uh, about it. Yeah, uh, I really appreciate for you to give you for giving me that time to hear my, my own opinion. Thank you so much. God bless you. Eh? You have a good one, Baba. So it is true. The truth here is that uh, Nigeria doesn't want you to talk about uh, the genocide because they don't want you to offend some people. And in the process, millions of people said so, so they were denied. The millions of people they killed, those who killed them, they rewrite the history of Nigeria. They thrown so many of these things away. They rebranded themselves. They turned themselves uh, to the saviors of Nigeria. And somehow, somehow, eh, it has gone from bad to worse. And that dark time, you never leave Nigeria. People can live in denial of it. But you, you can't kill 5 million to uh, 6 million people in a genocidal war and tell people that no winner, no vanquish. Let's move on. Move on to where? Eh? Anyway, I'm going to round up uh, very soon, but I'm going to go grab. Uh, uh, see. We have this now, a father, a fatherless, uh, fatherless people. Okay. Now I'm going downstairs to the reception to grab uh, the why we struck. I want to show you that before we round it up uh, this afternoon. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Else. I'm going to leave my music on. Eh? If you stay back in five minutes, you're going to see it. And then, yes, we're going to choose a day that we're going to read all of that. Oh, it's going to be interesting. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to start early. We're going to read from 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. That's going to be four and a half hours reading tomorrow. And that's going to be, when I say uh, 12 noon, 12 uh, in the afternoon, check your time, set your time. I'll tell you more when I get back, okay? By the way.